My name is Natalie Miller. And I'm Maddie Sloan, and today we're going to be making a super saturated solution. All right, now let's make sure that we're safe when we're doing this experiment. So let's check our lab safety. Make sure your sleeves are up, your hair is up and out of the way, and you're wearing gloves. You don't need goggles though, because we're not using any chemicals, just hot water, which is why we need a parent here. All right, now let's get started. All right, now we're ready to get started. <laughs> Go. Right. We will need a pot, lots and lots of sugar, a jar, a stick, a string, food coloring is optional, and a spoon. Today we'll be making rock candy, which is a super, satu a super saturated solution. Mm -hmm. A super saturated solution contains more solute than it can theoretically hold at a given temperature. A super saturated solution is possible because solubility varies with temperature. Today we'll be making rock candy, which is a type of a super saturated solution when it's crystallized, and we'll show you how to do that. Let's go. <laughs> a solution is clear before the sugar is added. The reason why rock candy can form is because a seed crystal is dropped in the solution. This initiates crystallization. Our seed today is sugar. Alright, now first we want to roll the string in some sugar. That way, when we have the string inside the water, that way the rock candy can um, cling on to something. So, just roll that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Mmm. Yes. Mmm. Oh, that's perfect! Alright, now we'll just set that. Oh, I guess we could have just left it here. Oh. It happens. <laughs> this is not proper lab safety. Don't eat anything! Unless, well, I can eat sugar because I know it's edible. But don't, <laughs> and I say don't, eat any chemical that Miss Mac gives you because you're going to die. <laughs> Currently, I'm eating a mixture because I can divide all the parts. But right now, we're about to make a solution of sugar and water. First, we have our water boiling. And then we're going to take the sugar and put it in until it all dissolves. You want about a two to one ratio of sugar and water. So that's We're going to continue this process until the sugar can't be dissolved anymore. Currently, it's a saturated solution. To make it a super saturated solution, we need to do this, cool it down, and then repeat the process. Now we've gotten to the point where the water can't dissolve any more sugar. Now it's time to let it cool. We have just made a saturated solution because the water could not physically dissolve any more sugar since there was so much sugar in the solution. So then we let it cool down. Now that it's cooled down, we're going to make it a super saturated solution by heating it up again and repeating the process. By heating up the water, this allows the water to dissolve even more sugar than it actually can hold, making it a super saturated solution. This is possible because solubility varies with temperature. All right, let's get started. Now the water is at a syrupy texture, knowing that it can't dissolve any more sugar. If you don't believe me, we'll show you. Now that it's at a syrupy texture, we know it's a super saturated solution, so we're ready to pour it into the jar. Now we're going to pour the super saturated solution into our jar where the rock candy will grow. Look, it 
with my pee. This part is optional, but eating plain colored rock candy just looks boring and stupid. So we're gonna add some red. If I can open it. Got it. Got it. Vampire. Stir. <laughs> We're going to put in our string with the sugar, and this will start the crystallization process. This sugar on the string is our seed crystal that will start the process. Now that the beginning process of the experiment is over, now we just have to wait until the crystals form on the string, aka rock candy. But now that the experiment's over, be sure to clean up your station because Ms. Mac will love that. Thanks for watching our tutorial on how to make a super saturated solution. Go home and try it yourself, and it tastes good too.